Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at the auto nav link generation. And we're just going to do a quick overview to hopefully uh, get your NPC to be able to climb to different heights and fall from those heights. So, if this is something that you're interested in, let's go ahead and take a look. So, first off, we need to place the volume, the nav mesh bounds volume into the map. And when you press P, it will give you a visual indicator of which area your NPC will be able to navigate. Now, when you're resizing the nav mesh, you can, there are some hotkeys you can use. R will, automate, will go to your scaling, and E will go to your rotation, and W will go to your uh, transform. Okay, so if you haven't used those hotkeys before, they are something that I use all the time. And so you want to make sure that the volume is big enough to cover the area that you want to travel and also tall enough that the height will cover the height of the block that you want to traverse. Okay, so once you have that sized up to how you like it, we want to go to our overview and search for our recast nav mesh. The recast is where we'll find, we'll search for nav link, and we want to make sure that generate nav links is checked to be true. And, and here at the documentation are just kind of the settings that the auto nav link generation uses. You can go ahead and pause and look at those definitions. And here's a visual representation of those same settings. So you can see here that the jump height is the peak height relative to the height of the starting point. So how high the character will jump from where they're starting, not, and it's, it's not how high they are currently in the level. Um, so it's not like, oh, hey, do I, I, he's 300 feet, you know, he's 300 units above the ground, so I need the jump height to be 300. That's not what it is. It's how high he's going to jump from that starting location. Um, jump length, that's kind of self-explanatory. Horizontal length of the jump, you want to make sure that that's going to be inside, that that length is going to end inside of, inside of your nav volume. The jump max depth is how far below the starting height we want to look for the landing ground. That's an important value that we will play with. All right, so just go ahead and familiarize these with, with these definitions. And this is straight from the Unreal Engine documentation. So I suggest looking into that too. Um, it also gives you some code of how to navigate this as an AI. Okay, so we can type in link. That will give us the nav link uh, configuration, access to the values that we're going to want to be manipulating. So you can play with jump distance from the edge. You see how that affects things. Jump height. We can play with that. Sometimes I like to put extreme values in there just to see what it's doing. So jump ends height tolerance. Okay, so there. That gave us access to the higher elevation. Okay. So you just want to play with these values to kind of see what will work, how it's going to affect your auto nav link generation. It does do some strange things. Sometimes when you make the value too high, you'll be able to jump off the high ones, but not the low ones and vice versa. If it, the values are too low, you can jump off the low ones and not the high ones. So there is a sweet sauce or sweet spot for this. So we see that the jump height has nothing to do with that height, you see? It has nothing to do with that higher value. So as I increase those values, it does not make that, does not make it, does not generate a nav link from that location. Okay, so what value do we want to play with? From our guide, it says we can play with our jump height tolerance. We can put that up to an extreme value, like 500, and we can see that that doesn't really do much for us. We can try making it lower, 
that doesn't really help either so we'll keep it at 150 for now for we can jump max depth that was how you know how far below the starting height does it look for the ground so that's the important value we were talking about so let's try increasing that to 200 to 300 all right so there we go we can now jump from that high point but now we can't jump from the lower point anymore for some reason so that max depth is affecting even lower uh, elevations so to speak so if we change the max depth to 300 let's try 250 all right so there you go that is a sweet spot so if we look at these values again just know that max depth is very important height tolerance that seems to be important too and even jump height that can affect things if you do not if the height isn't high enough for you to clear maybe the edge of jumping over a higher a higher block okay so let's see if it works let's go ahead and ask this NPC to follow us and see if he can climb to higher heights and jump to lower lows and if you want to learn how to create an NPC that follows you like this go ahead and check out my earlier video I released last week and you can follow along and create an NPC that does this but as you can see he's following me along and jumping down and keeping up with me so thanks for stopping by i hope you learned something and go ahead and feel free to leave a comment thanks